a hunt them yeah. in different spots. That's that's why I threw this comment up here about where's the velvet bucks hiding. Uh, it a lot of you know a lot of people were. Uh, I've got some messages over the the last few weeks about people just like struggling to find deer this year for one reason or the other. You know that happens sometimes. I think you even said you don't really have anything real in particular that you're um, real excited about yet this year. So I guess what, what, uh, what would be some last minute things between now? Cause your guys' season is a month away. Like we're talking about, you know, weeks away now. Mm -hmm. um, what, what are you doing right now to, to try to find that, like, you know, sure enough, big one to go after instead of just kind of sitting around, not sitting around, but throwing sits at places to find one. Well, I've been doing a couple of things. I've been driving around glassing and, and, shining a little bit but uh i haven't done a lot of that mm -hmm. uh, i did a lot of glassing but not a lot of shining and the glassing ain't really paying off too well because they seem to be coming on after dark um but what i have been doing that's been paying off a little bit is i've been scouting aggressively in the woods something i don't normally do this time of year but yeah. uh, i'm going out and i'm checking new spots that i would not even have any clue on if i went in during hunting season I'd either have to go in there and, you know, hunt my way in, stand on back, um, and burn a lot of, uh, ground to find something, or I could go in now and, and scout it and then get out and hopefully it still pays off, or at least I learned something for next year. So I've been scouting some properties. Now I ain't going anywhere near something I already know I'm going to be hunting. If I know I'm hunting there, I ain't going near it. Yeah. But if it's something that, uh, I ain't going to go there unless there's something good there to go after. I might as well as go in there and look. So I've been going in and looking. And I know uh, if I go back through my journals and stuff, um, in my heyday when I was killing a lot of really big bucks, a lot of it came from um, aggressive summer scouting, going in and, you know, finding them and backing out. I mean, uh, think about that really wide buck that I found in that uh, oxbow working at uh, that bed scrape. Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, that's arguably one of my biggest bow bucks ever. Um, I found that in late August, I mean, walking ridges with binoculars, watching down into those areas, you know? So I'm getting out there and doing a little bit of uh, actual foot scouting and I'm enjoying it. What are your, what are your thoughts on like, um, guys that will go in a week before season and check all their trail cameras and then kind of decide where to hunt based on those, those cameras I think that's a bad idea too those people should probably take up golf yeah it's I, a pretty I think yeah it's, it's pretty a, common sense that if you go out there and you go check those cameras at hunting spots that the deer yeah. can be on your scent is there for a month you know yeah yeah there's that's a that's a pretty like uh popular tactic that um, you know, some people preach about is like going in the, you know, right before season to check all your spots. And, uh, I, I just curious what you, I never, me and you never really talked about that, honestly. Um, I've always kind of most, been this... most of my kill spots. I haven't been in all year and I'll slip in there the day I'm going to make a kill. And if yeah. something happens, say you get in there and there's shooting lanes cut and there's a tree stand bolted to a tree or some crap, I just turn around and I leave and go to plan B. Yeah. Um, but usually the spots I go to don't have that. The only spots I find that in is all the spots I've killed big bucks in because people figure out where I hunted on videos. You know, um, yeah. like that buck I killed last year um, in the marsh. Mm -hmm. I was hunting that deer for um, several years, as everybody knows. And uh, I found that spot. There was one little tiny tree you could hunt out of. And uh, there was buckthorn around it, and I cut a hole through the buckthorn both ways for a shooting lane, just a small hole. I mean, not really cut, you know, clip the branches or whatever, but there's no way to shoot out of that tree without clipping some, some branches. And before everybody goes irate, buckthorn is an invasive species. You can clip those branches. Yeah. You can cut the tree down if you want. But I, I cut a hole out of there, and I made a spot for the, for the tree stand to go during the summer. And after I shot that buck, I got at least six messages from people that have been hunting that spot for years. And it's their spot. Right. 
and he'd had it circled on a map and stuff. They think I'm ignorant. Yeah, right. No, you, you know, it's public land. You can hunt there. I can't stop you. But don't lie to me. Just go freaking hunt it, you know? So I, I, I really, because of who I am and what I do, I can't really go back to those spots. You know, I right. might try. You got to race people in there, you know, maybe go opening day or something. But, uh, yeah. you know, you know, really in most cases, those spots are done just from people parading through there. Because now they're going, like it's a tour, you know, like, let's go check this spot out. I found it on a map. I'm going to go see where he, you know, where he killed this deer or whatever, you know? Yeah. So I it kind of sucks and it's the bad thing of things. But really, I kind of like finding new animals, you know? Sure. And it's not like, you know, even when you find those really good bedding areas, you kill a giant in there the first time. And after that, you can kill good bucks. Mm-hmm. Those giants always seem to come from the first time sets. First time you ever hunt. An area. area. I spend a lot of my, uh, my like August and, uh, September, I'll, I'll actually be scouting stuff that I don't really plan on hunting. It's just stuff I want to like go check out and I'll throw just cameras in them just to see, leave them there all year. Sometimes I end up forgetting about them, you know, and I don't even go in there until the next year and, and grab them out of there. Um, uh, that's what I do. Like I, tomorrow afternoon, that's what I'm doing. I got a new spot, uh, around here that I've never actually been into. And I'm going to go in there with a couple of cameras and I'll just I'll try to find a place to put them. And then I'll just leave them and go grab them and, and see what the, what's in that area for the year. Or see how much pressure, if there's people walking all over them or just fill out the, the spot, essentially let the cameras, um, you know, do a year of scouting for me in there before I mess around with it, you know? 